Simon is my best friend. Uh, lucky to uh, have met him when we were four years old and play soccer for uh, pretty much our whole lives. 17, 18 years old, he became really, really good player. Simon's future was bright. After returning from a two-year professional soccer stint in his native UK, Simon's goal was to play for Team Canada in the World Cup. But that dream was cut short. Simon was playing, he couldn't feel his hands anymore. They were very cold, his feet were very cold. Looked at his parents and said, you know, there's something definitely wrong with me. A virus had attacked and damaged Simon's heart. The family's best hope? Return to the UK and wait for a donor that might save Simon's life. And I got a phone call from a newspaper. Simon had slipped into a coma and uh, on, the other, on the other end of the line was a gentleman asking me um, if I had a comment about the passing of Simon. Of course, I didn't know. <clears throat> and I hung up, made some calls, and I got to talk to her nurse, and she said, no, he's still alive. It's okay. And that's all I needed to hear. And then, of course, I got a call on Sunday morning and, and he'd received a heart, transplant was in, and it was successful. Simon comes back to Victoria and instantly he's the heart guy. Something that he didn't want to be. Simon wanted to come back. He wanted to be Simon Keith, a professional soccer player. The University of Nevada, Las Vegas recognized Simon's competitive nature. And soon he was playing alongside older brother Adam and starting to get noticed by the pro soccer world. Was MVP of the All-Star game. And what happened, Simon's drafted number one overall. Simon became the very first athlete to play a professional sport after receiving a heart transplant. Simon Keith became CEO of the Nevada Donor Network. And he takes it from the worst organ procurement agency in North America to the number one in the world. It's remarkable. In the summer of 2011, Simon Keith returned to the UK to search for his heart donor's family. John Edward had the same red hair and freckles as Simon's own son, Sean Edward. John Edward died from a brain aneurysm while playing soccer on a field on Vancouver Drive. Simon, he was like a, a new person. He then wants to write a book about it and he wants to start a foundation. We're gonna call it the Simon Keith Foundation. We wanted to help children that have transplants. You know, we, we just want to make these kids happy and, and go on and, and live a normal life. You know, we were able to support every kid in North America in 2018 to get to the transplant games if they wanted to go. It's beyond gratifying. In early 2018, Simon Keith was one of the longest lived heart recipients in the world. But the heart that had beat for Simon almost a billion times started to fail. February, March of 2018. Yeah, that was when I first started to notice definite decline um, in just almost every area. Simon's first heart started to fail him. Simon was put back on the transplant list for not only a heart transplant, but a kidney transplant. Incredibly, Simon's medical procedures include over 200 heart biopsies, 15 pacemakers, over 500 blood tests, more than two dozen angiograms, plus stents, IV ports, x-rays, heart defibrillations, and daily anti-rejection medications. Because he had had a heart transplant prior, and he has those antigens in his body for 33 years, you're only a match to 1.5% of the population. It was, it, it was just, you just gotta survive the next day. And 
There was, there was a few days that you just, I just didn't think I was gonna get there. You know, I don't wanna accept that like he might not make it, but at the same time it's like, okay, at least I have like, I still can carry on his legacy how he would want it to be. The house phone rang and it, I'm not good in the dark and I, I got startled when I woke up when I'm like, who is calling me? Like, come on. And so I pick up the phone and said hello and she says, hi, this is Sandy from UCSD. We'd like to offer you a heart and a kidney. She said, would you like it? I said, yes. I love that guy. And so grateful. On March 17th, 2019, a donor heart once again saved Simon Keith's life. A life that he's dedicated to organ donor awareness, dedicated to children recovering from transplant surgery, dedicated to making the lives of others better. Simon has been given the gift of life not once, but twice. And his mission in life is now to pass that on. Every day, Simon goes to bed late at night and wakes up early in the morning with one thing on his mind. How can he save more people? How can he provide more organs for those other people to have a second chance of life? Simon is leaving his life legacy so that those that gave him life will truly be honored.